Perhaps I remember um, on the BBC News when the anti Section 28 protesters burst in on the six o'clock news oh, yeah. and chained themselves to Nicholas Witchell, who ended up sitting on a lesbian. <laughs> and Sue Lawley, I think it was his co presenter, said, We seem to be invaded. And then they, they, put, they connected to another item on the news as these security guards tried to drag them out. <laughs> and I thought to myself, They're fantastic. You know, someone's fighting. I grew up all the way through Section 28 and it was definitely a case of you couldn't ask, there was no information at school. Um, again, sex ed was in biology class was always about frogs and plants and male and female and the first mention we actually had of anything to do with you know, gay people okay. was when we were in the sixth form and uh, we actually had a, co um, a charity collection and raised some money for the THT, Terence Higgins Trust. And we had a speaker come in to thank us for the donation and talk to us all about safe sex. And she started talking about her son and his boyfriend. And that was, that was I mean, talking 1991, 92. And that was the first I ever heard. But you certainly, things like... Uh, Channel 4, watching the, the gay films on Channel 4 late at night with the television turned right the way down so you could <laughs> hardly hear it. And, and that was the only positive things that you had on the television. Even, you know, the newspapers were all anti-gay. Schools wouldn't talk about it for fear of being, you know, sued or put in prison or arrested or whatever. So Section 28 did play a big part. And I was really, really disappointed as well when the, lo the age of consent finally got lowered from six from 21 down to 18, because it was still a case even then of, you know, well, we've given you something. And it took a couple more years before it actually went down to 16.